Hello, everyone. My name is Stan. In this video, I'm going to teach you the use of Google Talk and Google Blogger. As we talked in the previous video, Google offers several convenient programs that can be used to communicate with others such as Google Discussion Groups, Google Talk, and Google Blogger. In this video, Google Talk and Google Blog will be introduced later. With Google Talk, you can chat in small groups or even call each other by phone since these calls are conducted over the internet, they are free of charge. With Blogger, you can create a blog. This medium is often used to publish a diary or a travel journal. You can post your thoughts and reflections anytime you wish to do so. In Blogger, you can also decide whether or allow comments or reactions to the posts. You will learn the following topics from this video. First, the video will teach you how to send and receive express messages by Google Talk. Then, you will learn how to make phone calls. Second, you will learn how to create a blog and then add messages and images to a blog. Moreover, how to invite people to visit your blog is very important. You will learn how to do that. Finally, you will learn how to react to broke messages and restrict the access to your broke. Let's start it. I hope you will enjoy it and learn a lot. In chapter 5.7, I'm going to introduce that how to make in a phone call with Google Talk. With Google Talk, you can use the internet to make free phone calls. The person you are calling must be online at the same time in order to do this. Please click the button, Call. If the other if the other person accepts the call, you will see this window. Now, you can carry on a regular conversation by using the microphone of your computer. To end the call, please click the button and call. To make a phone call, you will need a microphone and speakers. To achieve optimal quality, it's recommended that you use a headset, a headphone with a built-in microphone. You don't need to use a phone number. The connection is made through the internet. It does require, however, a Gmail email address. If somebody calls you, you will hear a ring tone and you will see a window in the bottom part of the screen. To start a conversation, click Answer. If you don't want to answer a call, click Ignore. If you don't want to be bothered for a while, you can change your status to busy. Busy. 
By ab available, please click here to change the status to busy. If you are uh, available again, you can change the status back to the uh, available. To stop chatting altogether, click sign out. In chapter 5.A, I'm going to introduce that how to create a blog. A blog is a type of website that is comparable to a diary. But then, on the internet, the word blog comes from the words website and log. A blog is also some, sometimes called a weblog. Somebody who keeps a blog is called a blogger. The Google program for creating and maintaining a blog is also called blogger. This is how you install blogger. First at all, please open Internet Explorer and then browse to www.blogger.com. In the top right hand side of the window, sign in. Type your Gmail username and password. And then click sign in. Here is the welcome page and you have to confirm your personal profile first. If ready, click Continue to Broker. Now, we are going to create a new blog. By blog title, please type your blog's title. By blog address, please type the new web address for your blog. By blog template, please click a template and then click create blog. The name you just entered is now checked for availability. You cannot use an existing name. Also, punctuation marks are not allowed. If the name is not accepted, you will see an error message and you will need to choose a different name. If your name has been accepted, you can skip this step. If the name is not available, Please type a different name and then click Create Blog. Now you can actually start editing your blog. Please click Start Blogging. By title, please type Christmas. Then click the message box. Type we finally had a white Christmas this year. Try to add a picture in the text box. Click Choose Files and then pick up a picture you want to insert. Click 
click Add Selected. Click the image. The image is pressed in the center. You can change the size, the position, add a, add a caption, or remove the image. Now, the image has been inserted. If you want to move the image and press it under or above the test, drag the scroll bar until you can see the text message. Then, press the mouse pointer on the image, drag the image. Drag the scroll bar back up. Now, the photo has been pressed under the text message. Then, click Publish Post to publish this page. Click view, view post. You will see your blog. Now you are going to close your blog and then you can learn how to open and edit it later on. Click sign out. In chapter 5.9, I'm going to introduce that how to update your blog. Usually a blog is updated uh, regularly, for instance once a week or once a day. In this way, you are creating a kind of diary or travel journal. But you will need to open the blog first. The blogger's web address is identical to the blogger's name followed by blogspot.com First at all, please open your blog. Please note that don't type triple W at the beginning of the web address. You now see your blog. You can only edit your blog if you are signed in. You can go ahead now and sign in. Click sign in. Then type your username and password. Click sign in. You now see the dashboard. This is where you manage your blog. To edit a message, please click Edit Posts. To add or post a new message to your blog, please click New Post. By post title, please type the title for the new post. Then type the new message. Click Publish. The post has been pu published. Then, please click 
view broke. You now see both posters. You will also find all the posters in the broke archive. Click sign out to log out Google Broker. The topic of chapter 5.10 is viewing a broke. To visit a broke, you will need to know its web address. The broker's owner can send this address to you by email, or you might find the address on a website, in a magazine or newspaper. Now, you are going to view your broke as a regular visitor. The web address is identical to your broker's name, followed by brokespart.com. First of all, open your broker. Please note that don't type triple W at the beginning of the web address. You now see your broker. The broke cannot be added because you are not signed in. The new post and the design buttons are only visible when you are signed in. However, some brokers do allow commands to the posters. Click the post title and then type a command. To post a command, you will need to sign first. My command is choose Google account. Then click publish. Please note that people who don't have a Google account or one of the other accounts that are displayed in the list will be able to view the blog but cannot post a command. Sign in to your Google account. You now see the post and an example of a command. Because you have signed in with your WOM account, you will also see the new post hyperlink as well as the other links you can see to manage your broke. If you have signed in with a different account, you will not see these links. You will see the message and the number of commands. You can view the command by clicking one command. 